we have direct costs and indirect costs and individual costs. The direct individual costs I think similar to the US public funding, it's personal costs, material costs, travel costs, subcontracting, project specific costs and open access costs. You can say all the costs you need to implement the H2020 project are direct costs. And what you need, you need it and those costs are um, necessary for the project. For the indirect costs, you, as I mentioned before, you just take 25% of all uh, eligible direct costs. That's the weight for the, uh, the flat weight for the indirect costs. And you will find also a list in the grant agreement of ineligible costs. For example, customs, duty, exchange rate, loss, that cost in other projects and in inappropriate costs. They are not eligible. So these are the cost categories, direct project costs, indirect project costs. So that if you have some costs, you have to check if they are eligible or not. And to know that, you have to go through with each dollar, with each euro cent, this criteria. And at the end, if you can, to say to each criteria, yes, fulfilled, <coughs> those costs are eligible. And the criteria is incurred, incurred by the beneficiary, by your organization, uh, incurred during the action time. That's uh, important because some partners in FP7 began the research work uh, before the start of the grant agreement, so th those costs will not be eligible. Uh, all these costs have to be found in the estimated budget, so that does not mean that you have all the details of all your costs also in your description of the work, but if I ask you where can I find those two dollars in which category of this uh, description of work you have to show me, ah, it's for the conference or it's for the laboratory and so on. So it's not necessary to write down in your description of work, we have a catering for $200 because there's a meeting. But I have to find it in the estimated budget.